if you were to give three things that anybody could do to get the most out of their brain, the most out of their brain health, what would those three things be? Yeah, I think that, I mean, step number one is guard your sleep, right? So if we aren't getting enough sleep and restful sleep, um, it will affect our entire day. It'll affect our relationships. We're going to not be able to think clearly. We're going to be irritable. So that's that's the first domino to brain health and really just overall happiness. Um, so I think that's why you're seeing um, so much emphasis on sleep now is because it is legitimately a cornerstone. And so that's my first advice. Um, the second one is really around... Um, it's around our nervous system, right? It's about maybe becoming aware uh, of when we are um, we are not able to turn off our um, our our go 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 drive mode from the day, right? So you know, someone like yourself who has a lot of ambition, you have a lot of drive. You know, how can you learn to shift um, gears in in the evening or when you want to chill out? Um, and, and that's really important for relationships as well as for your own recuperation. And the simplest thing to do is leverage your breathing. That's the absolute simplest thing to do. And it's free. And in particular, there's, um, there's a type of breathing that is, um, more, it's longer breath out and a shorter breath in, and it's smooth, no holding of breath. So, uh, four seconds in seven seconds out. And you do that, like, a handful of times and that alone will naturally calm the body and then in turn the mind and so what we add to that um so we we have a breathing practice in, embedded in our in our app but one of the things that we share in there is that it's very helpful to do a relaxed eyes and relaxed tongue and so when you're doing that breathing practice, if you can also be mindful of any tension that you're holding in your eyes, any tension you're holding in your tongue, and the tongue in particular is around that inner chatter. It's it's physiologically connected to that. And around your eyes, it's really, um, that tension is connected into a, a zoomed in sort of scrutinizing analytical view versus a zoomed out more uh, awareness present sort of feeling. And so if you try that out, that's another, another, another approach um, to just calming the nervous system. I know that's something you're focused on. Um, let me see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think it's, um, I mean, I have to, I have to think that it's, it's about really honing in on where are you placing your attention in the day? Right. Mm. So we often think we don't have time in the, in the day it's like oh there's um you know there's too many things to do i've already got my morning routine i got my night routine you know, i'm doing all these things but actually how much time in our day is actually wasted on screens and some of it's you know actually absolutely legitimate like we need to do some work we're purposely looking for something um but how many times do we go to our phone we get on instagram and then it's like a couple hours later, right? And so how much time can we be more conscious about where we are allowing our attention to be directed? Because that is not us directing our attention. Something is pulling us and we're getting the dopamine hits and we are actually not really in charge of our, of our attention anymore. And so can we claim some of that control back? That would be uh, my advice. And, and it could be as simple as, you know, one day a week, this is what I do. One day a week, no screens, right? Just take that control back. Um, no notifications. It feels great. 